Hello YouTube, how are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Uh, my phone was down today, so I uh, wasn't able to get much notifications on what the heck was doing. And when I finally got done with work, I was trying to look into stuff to potentially make videos on. Debated making a video on uh, The Woman King and how that made $19 million. Wasn't really interested. Uh, wanted, was debating doing Constantine video, but don't really care. Looking into potentially doing compare and contrast video of uh, Rings of Power versus House of the Dragon to see how do they compare. And I'm going to put a little bit of work in that and try to get that out by Thursday. But uh, finally got on trying to figure out how to properly uh, get to this. I finally got on Twitter after I got off work and I saw an interesting little hash thing trending and then I missed it and then I then I uh you know came home and I looked it up and this was trending <clears throat> granted it was from Vanity Fair when I saw it but from Rolling Stone Ezra Miller believed they were the messiah the flash was Jesus of the multiverse report new report details actors disturbing downward spiral that led to arrest and controversies these have been going on for a lot longer than how this little report tries to say but let's scroll down through it basically in the gist of it uh, a lot of their mental health issues started up in March of 2020 when COVID hit and all of his little you know projects had to grind to a halt but again a lot of Ezra Miller's stuff started much before. That's not proper grammars, but I don't really care right now. That all started before March of 2020. Because I found a lovely little timeline video, timeline right here, called The Vulture's Timeline, Complete History. And before 2020, there was still some stuff that was going on. 2018 is when Miller first met Dakota Ironside. Dakota? Dakota? Whatever. Anyways, in this article, basically, it talks about how when, uh, in Iceland, you know, he struggling with the aftermath of their, his parents divorced. He accompanied by, he was accompanied by a 55 year old South Dakota medicine man and spiritual advisor named Jasper Youngbear who would tell Miller that the actor was messianic and that demons were after him. Where do I find these people? Like, did you, Ezra Miller is just a fascinating topic. The man's borderline insane. And I don't deal with those pronoun things. I don't care. Oh, it, it talks about... This article talks about uh, Miller's uh, U.S. Vermont base. Which is right here. And it's dubbed The Mountain. Where he had a bunch of guns. Which, America, have your guns. Marijuana some sage and uh yeah but, but i think what's interesting though is a uh, he had an altar though comprised of marijuana sage bullets and figurines of the flash dc superhero you know got to run flat the fast the fast one in case you don't know you probably already know who the flash is but just in case and Supposedly, I don't know how to how to how to describe this properly, but according to source, Miller often conflated himself. I'm not doing the themselves. Shut up. As his see right there, they do it there. As his big screen alter ego, claiming that the Flash is the one who brings the multiverse together, just like Jesus. 
He's insane. But, like I said, they they hit on, you know, some of the big things, like forced to be it shut down, uh, Ezra Miller's, uh, yeah, that's right here, uh, Ezra Miller's uh, January 2020, where he uploaded the infamous video threatening the North Carolina KKK. Weird. Oh, it, this article also talks about, uh, I'm trying to figure out where it was. Or maybe it wasn't this article, but we, we know Ezra Miller is insane. We know this, but, uh, from allegations of kidnapping Dakota Ironside, you know, the girl that a lot of this started happening, uh, I think before 2018, if memory serves, but I don't remember quite when it started. I need to go through this again. But you get that lovely thing, you know, Dakota, the person that uh, has a restraining order against them, but they still need to find them to give them the restraining order. But one of my favorite ones that not a lot of people like to talk about, I don't know what that one said, so I'm not going to click it. Uh, ba 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 ba. Where is it? Oh, right here. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Where does it start? No, not right there. Ba ba ba. Oh, right here. The Daily Beast published it. Basically, there was a time when Ezra Miller, and I'm pretty sure you've heard this story went over to a neighbor's house and where they had a 12 year old uh 12 year old non-binary child who alleges that they were targeted by Miller yes this whole family here alleges that uh Ezra Miller groomed their child and the story is insane they were you know having a party and one of the People in this thing uh, where it said something about a tribe and Miller accused them of cultural appropriation. A gun was involved. It, it's insane. And I really, I'm going to post this link in the description, but go to vulture.com. Like, this is, this has the entire breakdown of what Ezra Miller has done. And it's saying, and it goes a whole lot further back than just. Oh, uh, where than just starting in 2020. The dude's insane. Well, with that being said, if you liked my video, le click the like button, share it out with your friends, leave a comment, subscribe to the Twitch, Twitters, the Rumbles, YouTubes if you're watching this on Rumbles. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, links in the description. Bye.